Hey guys, it's Crystal here, and it's a Monday, Monday, Monday. So, today is, what's our Mixed Media Monday? Um, what's, our, what's our challenge for the week in our group? Um, if you have been um, with me on Instagram, you would have seen me post um, this. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. My situses are draining really bad. It makes me cough and choke. Probably a little TMI there, huh? Anyways, I showed a picture of before the the freaky <laughs> coloring. Um, it's called if, if I'm understanding, it's called continual line drawing. I am so sorry, guys. <clears throat> And you put it down. Well, I'm going to do one with you, so. Uh, but it's pretty much, you do you have a continued line? That's what you're doing. Um, anyways, I did it. I liked it. But, you know me, I was thinking, you know, I never see these in uh, painted or coloring. They're just drawings. And um, I was like, I was trying to, and I was like, well, I really want to do some little messy watercolor on it. I think that would look really cool. And I started to try to talk myself out of it. And then my word, why not, popped in my head. And so I put the watercolor down. I like it. I did another one. Another, it's my second one. This this was my very first one, guys. And then literally I turned around and did this one. On coloring, I used Jane Davenport's uh, her face line. Um, it's like a palette pastel type of stuff. So, um, they're both really cool. I love them both. And of course, if I wanted to, I could have gone in and made, you know, detailed her a little bit more. But that's not, no, it's continual draw, one continual line drawing. And then I add a little color. That's it. So, um, I think it's cool. And so that's what this week's prompt is going to be. Um, along with, we're doing, of course, our month challenge this month, and I'm doing, and of course, the ladies in the group, um, some are doing, is heart art, art heart a day, so you're gonna heart a art, art a heart every day, <laughs> say that a few times, and we are having so much fun doing that, I do share that picture on Instagram and with the group, I don't share on here, because it's just too hectic to do a video every day along with everything else. So, continual line drawing. <clears throat> so, along with, um, this is my kind of play journal. It's just a journal. I'm going to put a cover on it eventually. But, um, I got this at Walmart for under $3.00. And all I did was, um, I am gluing two pages together, and they works great, guys. I mean, fantastic. Um, reason why I'm not putting anything back here is in case I want to write down something about what I did on the page. Um, like, I, like, mood board inspired. First play with Aisha, the Jandam pastel. So, I write things on there. It's not because I don't think the paper could take it if, if I wanted it to. So one thing I'm writing about these is um, which pens I use because I don't have a huge selection of black pens that are waterproof. So this one I actually use the Pilot G2 and it does, it's not waterproof, but I did do a clear gesso over it after it dried really well. And I only have one issue of it kind of smooshing when I did the watercolor. Otherwise, it hung in there really good. This one, I used the, just one of these Sakari, Sakura, I don't know, I got them last year in a package on clearance. And I, so, yeah. <laughs> and they are supposed to be waterproof, but I didn't, I've tested them before and they're not all the way in my opinion. But that's with that. So, today. This week's challenge, along with if you are following along with beads and you're like, where's my bead video? Um, this week, we're not going to put any new bead videos out because I am still having a blast um, making these 
the fabric ones along with the paper. This is something else. You guys shouldn't have seen that. Oh, it's the ones coming up. Um, so I'm still working. You can see my desk. I have fibers everywhere on those. And I know a lot of other people are too. So this week is going to be for the beads. It's just kind of um, working on those. And we are still planning to do the swap at all said and done. And, um, of course, you don't have to do the swap if you don't want to. It's just something we're going to um, have out there after all the series is over. So, I think I've got two more videos, and I actually thought about three, but I think two more. So, we're halfway done with the bead series. So, get making those beads, ladies. Continue line drawing. This is Jane Davenport pen. I haven't really played with it much. My mother got it for me. Oh, uh, God. When was it? January? Was it January? Well, considering it's only like February 3rd, yeah, I'm positive it was January. <laughs> I don't remember. It was like right after. Um, I'm looking for a piece of paper to put over this because I don't want to look at it. Because if I do, it's going to... Mm, I feel like it will... Um, I'll catch it in my eye and I'll do that instead of whatever comes to me. Is that make, does that make sense? I know it does to some of you. <laughs> All right, let me bring you in. Bring you guys in. Let's see. It's kind of all over lately. So. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I mean, you could do this with a pencil if you wanted to. I'm using the bright uh, black because I like to add the color, um, and I think it looks good. So, now see, those I kept going because I actually seen something, you know. This time, it's literally, this is going to be, I am literally just, yeah. Literally just going to. <laughs> and she cute. Now I do lift it up sometimes. I have to get up and move, but I go right back where like I stopped. So um, I'm not that much of a stickler here. I'm talking, so I'm like, what am I doing? Wow. Well, She is going to be looking good. You can tell I wasn't feeling great. <laughs> uh, ooh, I think it will make this a pair of glasses. It will do. Ah, see, you don't take a, a ugly and get real upset. You can fix it. And I'm getting into it, guys. Um, so I'm not going to be much of a. You can still do detail, you're just going to have that line <laughs> going out there. A little background and a little uh, SpongeBob there in the background for you. Uh, oh, I went a little haywire there. Sometimes my uh, 
my uh, finger does that. And you see I let go again. I pick it up exactly where I was at. You're going to need some long hair to fix this uh, mess up, huh? Just kind of go with it, guys. It's not going to be perfect by any means. I think this is a fun one. To get you some, if you're trying to do like some cool quirky type of characters, sorry guys, um, I think you'll uh, do all right i remember we're making glasses here and i'm just like i'm like off oh my gosh um it's just one of those it's a bad drawing day i do not like to draw faces um unless i know I'm in the mood. Uh, faces for me isn't something that I can just whip out and sit down and go to town with. It's something that I have to uh, do. Um, be in the mood for. I have to see them to make them. I have to make them come alive, if that makes any sense. I'm right here, so I gotta give me a drink. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure some of you out there is going to say, well, that's not continuing because I stopped. Well, I'm older and it's my art, so beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I want her glasses to be a little thicker, so I want to go around them a couple more times, make them fill them out a little bit. Maybe her eyes won't be so bad. I really guess they're not too, too bad as I'm looking at it. Um, so, I guess that's alright. I don't love in the eye here. Go back over. Let's put an eyelid, a little bit of an eyelid on her. There we go. We can put her eyelid. That's how we'll fix this up here. Oh, baby girl. There we go. I just kind of screwed that up. Oh, well. I'm going over it way too much. Last time I didn't go over quite this, this much. <laughs> um... But, I always seem to... Alright, I think I'm going to call her good. Um, she's not perfect by any means, but I like her. She's cute, she's got character, she's quirky. So, they look, you know, way different than when you add color. Now, are you going to ask, are you going to wonder, well, am I? Yes, I am because they're not. They're I, for me. That's not done. I gotta add some. I gotta play with them, even if it's messily. Um, I think she's telling me she wants to think of watercolors because she just she looks up prim, primmy. <laughs> All right, guys. I gotta get some clean water. 
Get some more drink. Pause the video. Get your drink, guys. All right, we're back. Let's see here. I got uh, the neutral palette of James, and this is that traveling one that was long and slender. Uh, but I don't travel, but I liked the price on that too, and it's a really good set. So debating what to use. I'm just gonna go with our water brush here. Try first. I don't do a lot of. Oh, I need some water here. <laughs> yeah. Too much. Now, see, her pen is supposed to be waterproof. And that is her ink. Look, guys, it's running. And I blue, blue dry it. I blue dried it, too. <laughs> I blue. Oh, my goodness. I heat dried it also to try to make sure it's sat. So, this changes it up. Um, I still want to do like a watercolor look. Um, let me dry that and we'll put uh, this. I have a spit from my fingers wiping it. That's pretty crappy. Unless I am wrong, but I'm pretty positive I am. It was the irresistible blah 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 blah. It's her incredible ink black. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. <laughs> so, you could do two things scrap using watercolors. Um, and it's kind of, it's moving pretty good. If it was just barely, I wouldn't worry about it, but, or you can put a clear gesso over it or a, um, finish on it. I'm really upset because I really wanted to do that. So we're going to go with a clear gesso. Um. I'm having a feeling that this one might move everywhere, though, because that would be pretty bad, because that's that G2 shit. I wouldn't see this one be in my way. I don't know. Is your tip, put plastic wrap on your jars, if any of them stick, and it's easy to do. So... And it goes on white, but it's clear. Dries clear. So here we go. Let's hope we can. I like this stuff because it does doesn't have a lot of water in it, so it doesn't react like other things do. But you don't want to go over it too much, otherwise you will start running it. There we go. Just like that. Um, I've got this. I bought oh, off Amazon. It's not an expensive one, guys. Um, I think it was 8 or $7 for this jar of clear gesso. It's 8.5 ounces by Art, by Art Basics. I love it. And as you see, it goes a long way. I didn't write the date on this. I'm going to have to find that out. Um, but it goes a long way. And it dries beautifully clear. And you see it didn't bleed out like, you know. So, I'm going to dry. Dry, dry, dry. Dry, dry. All right, guys. It is as dry as she's going to get. I need some more water. So, let's start. Painting. And 
it is holding it, so yay! Figured if the other one could, this one would too, because um, it cut off that cheap pin. I know it would really doubt it would be that bad for more expensive brands. So. She was white, or <laughs> not white. <laughs> that up in there. There we go. And do whatever. Um, you do not have to do a face video at all. Or a face continual line drawing. You can do anything, you know, an animal, um, a scene, you know. Just because I did did um doesn't mean you have to, and I'm not doing a great job of, of coloring her in right now. It's not not a great day today. <laughs> um. So I cannot wait. I hope you um, try this out. Uh, it's, it's actually, I was so, I've been seeing it for, gosh, a long time. Um, on I've seen it on different art groups and um, here on Instagram. Nothing recently. Um, but I just knew I wanted to, um, I wanted to try it, but I was so hesitant because it looks so hard. Um, have fun with it. It's not. I mean, she's a little wonky, but everybody's wonky. You, me, guy down the street. We're all a little wonky. So... I am not a finesse, finessing type of water, this type of watercolor, no, no. This is just throwing some paint on her. She's, I'm not going to make her really mm, flawless on her watercoloring or her, because her, she's messy, you know, she's messy. So you got to, you don't want to take away from that. It's a little bit darker in here though. So yeah, do do you. <laughs> I've I'm on a taking you can hear I'm like stuffy and everything else. I'm taking a lot of stuff like that and it's got me I don't know about you if you take so much of um, certain medicines it makes you shaky and wobbly. Yay! Buterol treatments will do that um, to most people. <laughs> Things like that. Wow. So I'm on just so many for my head, especially. I am like, uh, I just feel like I'm not myself. I'm like underwater and ugh, not good, guys. Not good. Okay, let's get a little pain. Oh, we got this. We're gonna go with that. But I mixed it up. I mixed it too much. <laughs> Just a little bit of color we needed for her. She's too orangey. Too orangey.
Sorry, I'm not. I have freckles, so I like to put freckles on my girls. Man, she has a whopping chin, doesn't she? <laughs> That's all right. So have fun with it. Blue. Your eyes in. Oh shit. One moment. I'm not one. Oh my goodness, guys. You see that? I colored in the wrong part. And there I go again. Telling you some medicine. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm about done. What should we do for her hair? I'm really enjoying using grays in my ladies because I'm, I don't have gray, I have white actually. Um, white, um, white, <laughs> white. <laughs> my hubby's all getting the grays and he's like, I want yours. I'm like, yeah, well, I've been going white for, uh, since I was 18. <laughs> So I've been enjoying putting that, the grays and whites, into my hair. Um, I think it looks cool. So, there we go. Why did I tell you all that? Because I wanted to. Oh. Yet to use this one. There we go. Okay, there we go. Thinking some. Oh, I'm just gonna go over it with some water here. Okay. I want. Trying to kind of go with the way that how I was doing her hair. Um, keep with it the cohesive messiness. <laughs> that one perfect thing to throw it all off. <laughs> mm, too much there. There we go. That kind of just looks like a piece of her hair is in her mouth, doesn't it? There we go. Oh, I like that. She looks good. I don't think I actually need to use this one today. Um, what else? Hmm, what a little lavender in there, huh? I don't have any in my hair right now. I haven't dyed my hair in, oh my goodness, years. And it's because it's with all my white hair, I have a problem finding um, ones that would actually cover up my white. Um, and I've tried all the, you know, 
ones. I haven't even went to, when I get a perfect when I would actually paid to get it professionally done, it it still doesn't last. So <laughs> um yeah. It just it it just doesn't hold any any color, so I haven't done it in years, and I used to always love to do the fun colors, you know, have maybe a little pink in my hair or something, you know, you know, I know you know, I know you do, I'm trying to darken that up, I'm getting more hair and less uh, face. She is looking good. What color should we do our shirt here? Cool, cool. She is cute. I like her. All right, guys. So that is how you do a continual line drawing. Of course, you do not have to do the coloring. I'm going to do some background on it. But I'm going to say goodbye and leave you at that. I'll show a picture at the end. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this continual line drawing. Happiness to you. Go make a mouse on art it out. Bye, guys.